So what we have here is a Ford 2.5 uh, liter inline four. This is out of a 2016 Ford Fusion. I'm actually putting it into a 2008 Ford Fusion. Um, middle of the work, various you know, stages of progress here on the different systems that go into it. I'm looking at what I can do about this VVT sensor. Basically, this one here is skinnier than the original. When I go to put the valve cover on it, basically big big old hole right here and doesn't leak. That's pretty well known. Those folks out there um, know about that. Um, what I've seen is folks packing this area full of RTV and um, I've even seen one solution, which wasn't bad, but there was one solution that took and it used the newer grommet, but uh, they kind of routed out the hole on, on the valve cover to make it work. Um, what I came up with was basically taking apart the VVT from the 2.3 and making a sleeve out of it. So um, I basically knocked the guts out of it. Uh, There's a crimp on the bottom. I opened that up with a flat screwdriver and ended up driving all the, all the you know, innards out of there. And um, anyway, so I ended up with this little sleeve. This guy here slides right on, right onto the new VVT. And from there, we can go ahead and put the valve cover on there. And the grommet basically spreads out around there, forming a perfect seal. With that, we can put the little pigtail Obviously this will get grafted onto the new harness or the old harness, but it clearances, actually has a little bit of room to spare. And uh, voila, that's essentially the gist of it. What I'm gonna do on the final install for this is actually uh, pack this full of RTV as I, before I slide it down. So um, it'll actually sit on there and it'll have a nice tight seal. And if I had to, I could always yank that off again. But uh, I, I did obviously destroy the old VVT sensor, so I'm kind of committed to doing this at this point. Otherwise, I'll be having to procure if I ended up ever wanting to go backwards. I'll, I'd have to go get a, another VVT for the 2.3. But in any case, um, seems like a real nice, clean way of doing this. I think the original VVT on the 2.3, see this little mark here, uh, the little ring that goes around. Um, basically, the valve cover used to slide down a little bit farther onto that sleeve, um, in any case, it goes on and it actually spreads out. So it stretches out around, you can kind of see it as I go up and down with that thing, it does spread out. So uh, basically between the RTV on the inside and the grommet it's, that's made for it, uh, this will be a nice tight uh, seal so we don't have to worry about any oil leaks or anything coming from there. And another plus, if you live in a state like California where they're doing emissions, you have your you know, semi-annual emissions test uh, where they inspect your engine, make sure you don't have any illegal modifications. They look at this, it looks like it's nice and clean, like this was the way this thing was made. It even has to have the, the part number, you know, and all that, that Ford etched on, on top there. Um, so if they were to look at this, they're really not gonna know any difference. So anyway, if you're doing the swap, I hope this uh, maybe gives you an idea how to do a nice clean uh, modification. I actually went and torqued the valve cover down and as you can see that uh, the VVT now protrudes a little farther through that grommet. So any concern that it wasn't going to protrude enough is uh, and, and potentially leak is now uh, satisfied at least as far as I'm concerned. Um, I did, like I said, pack this. You can't see it from the top, but I did end up packing. Um, with RTV. I actually use this Ford, the Motorcraft, I should say, the performance, high performance RTV. This stuff is the TA357. You can get it online. Um, seems to be about the best RTV that uh, you can buy, at least in my opinion. But anyway, I wanted to torque this down to hold that in position as that RTV dries.